when you hear the words posts, algorithms, what else, trends, hashtags, spam, and so on. You know that we're talking about social media, the new media, which is actually a thing now. And so those who are not with new media may be struggling, especially those who have businesses as well. And so it's in their uh, best interest to actually get with the new media. And so this morning, we're speaking to two uh, seasoned uh, businessmen who have used social media and are using social media to do amazing things. We'll learn a thing or two. And hopefully at the end of this discussion, you also will be able to use social media, at least basically, to be able to boost your business, build your business, and make great gains in this year, 2020. So I'm speaking to Daniel Sapong, who's a sales coach, popularly known as Africa's greatest sales coach. He's here with us this morning. How are you doing, Daniel? I'm doing amazing this morning. Hey, I'm <laughs> loving the energy. And Rodney Ohineba Ahenka, director of Raven Group Limited and owner of, uh, you know, online business chain. Hi, Rodney. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Hey. What's that? What's hey. the energy? Hi. All right. <laughs> it's Wendy, your auntie. How you going? How you doing? Well, I can claim her as my auntie you can, now. You can claim her. Right. Can, can I do that? I think you can. Is that yes, legal? Yes, okay, yes, then yes, she's my legal. auntie. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. Really auntie. simple. It's really good to have you. Uh, this whole social media thing, people see it from one side, you know, just put up your pictures, you know, tweet something, type something, and then you're good to go, and they're not making any gains. But the world has really shifted from just, you know, socializing to actually making bene great gains from your business, benefiting yes. from social media to help yourself, help your pockets and all of that. Yes. And so I want us to get a bit into mm. that. Uh, first and foremost, which of the platforms, I think I'll speak to both of you, I'll take your views, which of the platforms do you think works best for business in general? Okay. It's actually, uh, there's no particular platform good for any business. Okay. It depends on your, your target market. Because okay. even before you start a business, you should know your target market. Okay. So when you know your target market and you know your target market with information and intimately, then you know exactly where you can find them. And when you know exactly where you can find them, they decide the exact places that you can find, um, I mean, the exact platform that you can use. So there's actually no one particular platform that that's the only place you should be. Yeah. However, um, in terms of where you can, where most people are, maybe for in Ghana, yeah. you can say that most people are on Facebook, media, mm. social media platform. But some people will find their audience on LinkedIn or on Facebook. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly. true. Exactly. So there's no one particular place to find your audience. So number one, even before you are starting your business, know your target market. Exactly. And then once you know your target market, you know exactly where you can find them okay. and then you, you hit them more. Hits them more. Yeah. Uh, how you actually practice your business, you run your business online. How were you able to choose your, um, your social media platforms with your targets? What was the shuffle like for you? Um, I realized that... That as the days go by, mm. people use their phones for everything. Literally. You are more inclined to look at Facebook than to look at your morning devotion. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So those are the things you have to be able to put yourself in the shoes of your consumer and say, mm. okay, what, are, what do I want to look at? And then you target everything from there. Our brother said Facebook, but I'm an Instagram type of person. Ooh. People don't like to read in this end time. That is true. You know, people just want to see pictures. Yeah. And the more you're content stands out with your pictures, the lighting and everything that you do, mm -hmm. the more you actually capture your audience. Mm -hmm. And so I find Instagram to be bay. Okay. Bay <laughs> um, so those are the eyes. things, um, those are the things I look at. Okay. Uh, as we go more and more and more, people don't have time to read different paragraphs. They just want something on the go and, okay, this picture looks nice, double tap, and then yeah, and they go on from there. So And that also helps with their memory. Once they exactly. see the pictures, yeah. they remember, oh, I saw this somewhere, yes. so I can come back to this. Yes. But what kind of businesses do you run online? What don't I run? That's the <laughs> question. You know, I have, I have a Forex uh, education company okay. where I've trained over 80,000 people around on the which world. which of the platforms? On Facebook. Okay. Um, Facebook. But then I have beard care and perfumes that do really, hey. really well. I, I know, right? Beard care. Beard Sell care. It. Okay. Yes, yes. I, I, I trimmed for TV, but you know. Um, <laughs> so the beard care stuff actually works really good on Instagram because okay. people want to see hey. what is the product? What do people want to say about it? What are the reviews about the product? Yeah. Uh, and you find that the algorithms on both Facebook and Instagram, though owned by the same people, mm. the algorithms are quite different. Mm. And so you will find that you will post something on Instagram and you might get 100 views or yeah. likes, but then when it goes 
to Facebook, Facebook. there will be less because exactly. it's an oversaturated market. Mm. Uh, and so like our brother said, having a good target will help you understand the way you want to be able and to go. The way you want to be able to go. You mentioned algorithms, which is something that I think we should get into just briefly. Because um, when you look at, you know, notes on social media, a lot of the time they bring algorithms and it looks, agor algorithms, pardon me. And it looks like every year there's a new algorithm and all of that. What are these algorithms and why do we need to pay so much attention to those? Any of you can take it. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, no pressure. <laughs> I want to deal with the sales side more, how to sell more on social media. Okay. okay. So you can deal with that algorithms and I deal with how to sell more on social okay. media. Yes, That's fine. boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, algorithms, it's pretty much as simple as this. Keep people on the social media platform. Okay. Anything you can get someone to stay on for Instagram or Facebook for one second longer, they're going to appreciate that and they're going to put you more on top of the news feeds, okay? Okay. Anything that gets people away from social media, Truth be told, you're not going to be as visible as the next person that is there. Okay. So if you're constantly posting and your content isn't engaging mm -hmm. and you're not interacting with different people and you're not uh, bringing quality uh, either sound or visuals, Instagram and Facebook are going to notice these things and yeah. you're going to go less and less on the totem pole. So the main thing that you need to be able to do is create something engaging so that you can get your consumer to stay on the platform for one second longer. Once you do, no matter what you do or what you post, you can get a goat with a bow tie and you'll get a thousand <laughs> likes because right. you're keeping people on the platform. Okay, so the algorithms, just to get you better, I'm sure someone is also asking the same question. Um, with, with, with the algorithm, algorithms, you just have to keep posting engaging content, content that will get other people to like Yes, engagement is key. It's not okay. just about posting. Okay. Um, because there's a fine line between being engaging and spamming. Okay. Yeah, so, true. you know, look at the time that people are on social media the most in the morning, on the way to work, on the way back from work, lunch break, and before they go to bed. So, if you're posting content around those times, yeah. people are more likely to be able to be tuning into what you're doing. Yes. If you're posting at 11 o'clock, people are at work. Yeah. It's just going to go away. So you need to be able to know the times that people are tuning into. Okay. Which goes back to what I was saying. Put yourself in the consumer's position. position. What time do you go on Facebook? That's yeah. the time you should be posting. Okay. And it, it goes on from there. Okay. So you want to add to that? Yeah. So to add to that, since he has touched on that, so in this same um, area as well, the content is keen on social media. I mean, you see people um, selling their product and services. And every second, they are posting their product. I was product. just going to say this. They are this. posting their services. Yeah. You see, I want people to understand, nobody cares about your product. Nobody cares about your services. Nobody cares about anything you are doing. People just want content that they can easily relate with. Okay. So, for example, you can bring... So, if you sell maybe beauty products, you can give us beauty tips. People want to know all those things. And when you are doing all these things, you are building trust. People buy because they trust. They don't buy because you are selling a product. Indeed. They can get it anywhere. They can get it anywhere. Indeed. So what are you doing different on social media? So I'll even suggest that maybe 70% of the time, give content that is valuable to the people. And once they trust you, now you bring out the product that this is what um, satisfies um, um, the, the, the proposition right. or the value proposition I had. And then they will end up buying. Mm. So for example, if another thing with this also is that, so for example, if you sell... Why am I using beauty products? Let's say beauty <laughs> products. You see, you don't which call something a sales copy or I mean the advertising okay. copy your flyer. You don't have nobody cares about this is a product, this is what it does, these are the features. That's true. It's they boring. care about the value. And what do I mean by the value? Someone would prefer to see something like um um look like you are 18. Yeah. I mean, this product makes you look like you're 18. So like a before and after. They will prefer something yeah. like that. Another thing people also prefer testimonials. As I True. said, people buy because they trust. True. People buy out of emotions and then they justify with logic. And people easily buy things when other people are saying that it is true. It may not even be true. It may not. People buy out of emotions and justify with logic. So for example, you have served 10 people. Find a way to get feedback. Even if they text you on Instagram or they have to text you on WhatsApp, post that screenshot on your page and let people know that people are actually benefiting and it's changing their lives and their business. That one will easily convert them into a sale as compared to this is a product, yeah, these are the this, features. Yes, yeah, so fantastic. sell the value more and use testimonials. That will also create some form of engaging content as well, yeah. which will boost your algor algorithms. algorithms. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So uh, I just want us to touch on spamming mm -hmm. really quickly. Spamming is uh, what you described earlier, right? Just posting anything. Yeah. So you just post, keep posting um, like 10, 20 photos in a day. 
right? More than one foot. I just want you to help me understand mm -hmm. what spamming is so that we can let our viewers out there know that this is what exactly is spamming and so they should, um, you know, do away with it. So what exactly is spamming? Okay. Wait, wait, oh, yeah, uh, you take you, it. You, you, you can take it. Come on, Rodney. Let's go. Right. Uh, yeah. Spamming is... I'm just going to make it simple. Yeah. Spamming is simply being very, very annoying. Mm. We all have that one friend mm. that wakes up at 4.30 to give devotionals. <laughs> and you don't even talk to them, but they're giving John 3.16 every day. Every day. Right? And so you don't want to be to the point where you're just so annoying, so overbearing. Mm. Bye, 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 mm. bye. Like our brother said here, if you're giving value... Mm. Um, people are going to come to you. But if you also know what you're talking about, yeah. I've seen so many beard care sellers that yeah. are selling beard care products mm. and my three-year-old nephew has more facial hair than them. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so you have to be able to have that fine line of knowing when to post and when not to post. Okay. Posting 20 times a day is not it's going not, to boost right. your algorithm. That's true. Um, posting on every WhatsApp platform out there is not going to boost your algorithm. Mm. And those are some etiquettes that people need to be very, okay. very um, cautious of. Um, and other small things like know who you're talking to before you even message them. Yeah. Um, understand who your client is, what their names are. It's, it, it makes so much of a difference when you address your customer by their name. name. By, yeah. hey there, how, you are going, how, how, how are you going? Because yeah. they know that's you a copy and paste. You don't even feel like you're being spoken Exactly, to. you know what I mean? Yeah. So those are the small things that people should really stay away from. And okay. yes, it adds an hour to your day, but that hour could get you 10 new customers and then from there... Word will spread. I'm tagging you in. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, so on this as well, as I, as I said earlier, you see, you are a page on Instagram or Facebook or any of the social media pages. Nobody cares about you. Like, I want people to get that. Nobody cares about you. They only care about the content you bring out. Yeah, sure. And that content must mean value to them. So in fact, even before you start creating your content and all that, as I said, know your customers intimately. Sit down and put yourself in a customer's shoes. What would your customers want to know? What do they want to see? What will be of value to them? And once you put yourself in that customer's shoes, now begin to create content, information. For example, um, you can, if, let me give an example. Let me do the same beauty product. Yeah, let's go, let's you, go. You can, really? you can hit, so when you begin to know the customers intimately, you hit on their pains and their desires. Mm. One pain, you can let them know that, you can do a research and find out that maybe 75% of all beauty products damage people's skin uh, by the time they use it for 10 years. Yeah. And that is causing them the pain. And now you provide them what? with a solution. solution. So these are the kind of things that people want to know. Okay. And another thing I want to touch on this is that um, don't sell products. Okay? As I said, people buy with, uh, out of emotions and justify with logic. Okay? Buy out, um, what you should sell is an emotion. Okay. And for example, um, I'm, bringing, I'm coming out with a book, 12 Sales Secrets, that okay. are global 500 companies don't want you to know. Okay. The top 500 companies in the world. And I'll, I'll release one secret here. Uh -oh. So yeah, 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 I'll release uh -oh. one secret We're here. We're privileged that way. So the first, <laughs> the first secret is emotion. Mm -hmm. So I'll use one global 500 company. That's Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola doesn't sell fizzy drinks. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola sells happiness in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Have you seen every Coca-Cola ad? Open happiness. Open happiness. Yeah. Now tell me, how does a fizzy drink or which chemical is in Coca-Cola that makes you happy? <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> you know the sounds. Yeah, the sounds. Okay. Is, no, I, so every every dynamic about Coca Cola, they make you feel like when you drink it, it okay. gives you happiness. Yes. So have an emotion that you attach to your brand. Yeah. So for example, if it's a health product, yeah. add healthy. Like when you okay. eat this, you're okay. going to lose yeah. weight. Yeah. yeah. Add some so form of emotion. Emo add an emotion. To that. Okay. Yeah. So let's then uh, move to um, what's it called strategies to help others um, who, who want to build their businesses on social media? What are the practical ways that they can actually benefit from social media? We've talked about spamming, which they should you know, stop doing, yeah. uh, over posting in a day. What should they be doing? Yeah. There are different types and of let's etiquettes. let's not mention any uh, brand No, 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 no. no. Yeah. There are different type of etiquettes that I see upstarts do mm -hmm. that I wonder how are you going to be able to penetrate the market? Yeah. Something as simple as liking and commenting on somebody else's material mm -hmm. other than your own. It shows that you actually care about your surroundings. Mm. It doesn't matter if they're in the same niche as you. The yeah. fact that you have shown support in another area, people are going to notice that and they're going to return um, in kind. Okay. That's probably the first thing. The second thing is learn how to invest in your business. A lot of people have... 
uh, a type of phone that doesn't have the right quality or <laughs> have, have the right sound. Yeah. And they're using that to push a product that people want to buy. Yeah. That doesn't work like that. You can get this delicious... Uh, uh, Cocoa unsweetened, unsweetened. <laughs> right? Yeah. And you can put it on the floor like this. Don't worry, sorry, advertisers. Get a couple of coconuts, maybe a couple of green leaves. Take a nice picture. The natural lighting is there. Yeah. And from there, because they see all the natural essences there, mm. you've been able to connect with your audience. This is yeah. very delicious, by the way. <laughs> and so, um, those are some of the small yeah. things. Um, and as well as that, get to know your customer. Customers. Yeah. There are so many times people post something and you have a hundred people saying, what is the price of this item? Mm. And no one is responding to anything. It doesn't take very long to say, okay, send us a DM so we can get to know you better. So we can know your name and your location yeah. so we can post it to you. Yeah. Or maybe say, you know, all th those are the small things that people need to pay attention to. Unfortunately, service. those small things take up the majority of your time. Mm. Customer service, like yeah. you said. You're going to have a customer that will ask a thousand questions. Why? Customers, 90% of the time, want to push the buttons of you to see how you respond. Yeah. Like you said, trust. Yeah. They don't want to buy the product. They want to know how you respond. If you respond kindly, they're going to buy your product. Mm. And, and so those are the things that you really need to put at the forefront. Your content, your, the way you um, uh, engage with customers, and being prompt and following exactly. your promises. Yeah. Do not say, for example, like a tailor. I'm going to make it your outfit in four days and two weeks later, you're still waiting. <laughs> Those are some of the things that once you say Tuesday, let it be Tuesday. If it's going to be late, communicate with your consumer and say, look, A, B, C, D, but we're looking to get it to you as soon as possible. So those are some of the small tips that have helped my companies Company. greatly. Perfectly, yeah. perfectly, perfect. I think yeah. I, I love every bit of what you've said. Oh, because stop it. Actually Can't true. Blush. Don't yeah. make me blush. And I relate <laughs> with each one of them. For instance, yeah. when someone, I send a message and it takes them two weeks to, to reply. Yeah. I'm not even going to bother buying. Mm, I probably even bought from somewhere else. Yeah, mm. yeah don't or, trust you. Uh, yes, or you just re respond, how much is this, please? Mm. And just 90 CDs. Mm. I'm not going to buy from you anymore. Mm. So yes. that makes a whole lot of sense. Mm. Yes. And in wrapping up, though, um, would you have, do you have maybe a, a, a comment or two to help uh, those out there as well, Daniel. Uh, okay, so um, there are a lot of different apps right now. As I said, content is king. Mm. That's what we are posting. And videos actually help a lot. People like to watch engaging videos. So, and um, there's also an app called Hootsuite. There are a lot of apps. Mm -hmm. There's an app called Hootsuite yeah, that you can sure. use to schedule your posts. So, for example, I can sit down today and for the whole month of January and February, I've scheduled all my posts automatically. It just goes out. Okay. So, you can um, use that app. And you don't need to authorize it? You just need to, I mean, authorize it that, okay, on this day, it at this go. time, and it, it goes. Post, it goes. Yes. Perfect. On yeah. all platforms. Mm, okay. So you don't have to post on Instagram, post on Facebook, post on, I mean, you post everywhere. Okay. It, automatically. Okay. Yes. That's and perfect. sometimes it's also difficult trying to get maybe a graphic designer to sometimes put things for you. Okay. There's an app called Canva, C A N V A. Okay. You just sit down within. 10 minutes, you put down a great graphic mm. that you can put okay. on your site. Okay. And I think that will also help um, a lot of... Nice one. Yeah. Well, we've got some pretty good tips to begin uh, our business years with. I've been speaking to uh, Rodney Oheneba Ahenka, director of Rahen Group Limited. He runs uh, a number of businesses online, as well as Daniel Sapong, sales coach, and um, he's popularly known as Africa's greatest sales coach. We've been talking about social media and how to use that those to grow your businesses. So, so if you're taking anything away today, stop spamming. Stop posting every single second on social media. And make sure that you build that relationship with your customers because it's very important. Invest in your business. Buy the right cameras and the right audio equipment as well to be able to push your business. I've enjoyed the session. Thank you so much.